I'll take a look around after I track down Max's brain. It's a telltale trail of Grandpa Stinky's brain-preserving demon broth. Could Max's brain still be alive? Not now. I've got to find Max's brain. Later. Technological might, necromancer! Blow it out your simian hindquarters, barbarian! Skunky. And... Overweight? He's looking pretty spry for a 120-year-old. And there's the Devil's Toy Box. And is that... Sam! Get me out of here! This whole place smells like gorilla and patchouli! Sam... The interloper who foiled my scheme to collect the toys of power and re-imprisoned me in the penal zone? Sam? The great-grandson of the poltroon who put the kibosh on my intricate plan to unleash yogg Sagoth and take over the world? I hate that guy. I hate that guy! Yes, yes! A common enemy. I propose an alliance. You get the galaxy, I get the Earth? Agreed! Nice going, Bubble Brain. Don't blame me. I'm still trying to find the volume controls on this thing. Minions? After him! Sam? Ah, oh, man! Now I'm stuck in here with the alliance of C-list supervillains. Ah, it was way more fun when they were fighting. Increasing field radius, yes. Hey you, Fez guy! What is it? How come you haven't aged a day since my great-grandpa kicked your demon summoning butt back in the olden times? The horrible secret of my apparent immortality is too terrible to comprehend and would surely drive an uninitiated mind such as yours to the brink of madness were I to utter it. So, Pilates then? What are you doing in this two-bit museum anyway? Since my defeat at the hands of your meddling ancestors, I've insinuated myself into the archaeological community, painstakingly gathering the requisite toys of power necessary to reopen a doorway between our world and the realm of Yogg-Sagoth. Nerd. Why are you and that big dumb ape skunk ape working together? General Skunkape and I have had a meeting of minds over our mutual loathing of you, your partner, and your forefathers. So that added up to what? One mind between you? I just hope his brain-dead minions can dispose of your partner without injuring any of my employees. Pretty grubby joint you got here. It's one of the finest collections in the world. Our Yogg-Sagoth tapestry is one of a kind! Gee, it'd be a shame if Skunk Ape's minions ripped your tapestry to shreds and used it for space towelettes. You know, accidentally. Yeah, don't even think of such a thing! <laughs> what are you and Corporal Buttcheeks here doing with the Devil's Toy Box anyway? 
We're unwinding and rewiring the synapses of your brain to cast a blasphemous net of tech necromancy across the reality so that the toys of power may be properly encased within the devil's toy box. Ah, that's about what I thought. Really? Repeat what I just said. Blah, blah, blah. I've got a wonderful brain! Blargy, blargy, more toys for me! You're a magical mumbo-jumbo guy, so maybe you can tell me. What's the deal with me having psychic powers all of a sudden? Am I going through the change? It's difficult to say. The only minds on this plane capable of wielding the toys of power are the insane, the simple, or the defective. Ah, <laughs> you've been reading my press kit. But encountering two special brains in the same bloodline is practically unheard of. Your lineage is most peculiar and dangerous. You should see us during holiday cookouts. Could you try and stop your new buddy from zapping Sam with a banana-shaped ray gun or whatever? Why should I give a hell beast's hangnail about the fate of Summit's brood? Well, I, uh... <clears throat> Let me get back to you on that. Oh, this talking with my brain is making me tired. Let's talk later. <laughs> Look at all those cool psychic toys! Am I doing that? Indeed, yes. Your psychic brain, melded to Monsieur Paperweight Sorcery and my super science, have created a techno-arcanic whirlpool, drawing the toys to this convenient container. So that explains the giant sucking sound in my head. No, that's just you. Please, help us reach our goal. Operators are standing by to take your call. Hey, Skunk Ape! Yes? So, long time no see. Long time? Yes, yes. If only you knew how long. It has been but a handful of Earth hours since you and your companion imprisoned me in the penal zone. <laughs> However, due to the temporal phase shifting of the zone, I experienced years of maddening nothingness during those fleeting hours. Ah, that would explain the tiny crow's feet around the eyes. Not to mention that telltale old gorilla smell. What are you doing here, anyway? The same thing I was doing all those years ago. Boring me to tears? Gathering the toys of power so that I might conquer the galaxy! I see you've got your old band of lackeys back together. Yes, yes. My mighty army is once again ready to take on the galaxy. At least they would be if Paperweight's filthy security guard wasn't underfoot. That disease-carrying insect had better keep his pestilent thorax away from my boys! Why are you working with that creepy Paperweight guy? Monsieur Paperweight and I have reached an accommodation. Is that legally permitted in this state? I'm lending my scientific prowess to his mystical efforts to draw the toys of power into the so-called Devil's Toy Box. That spell thing Paperweight's working on, it wouldn't have something to do with summoning an elder god by the name of Yog sagoth would it? Now that you mention it, Yog sagoths name did come up once or twice. He's certainly touchy about that precious tapestry of his. Yes. Now that you and Fezhead have stopped fighting, could you tell me how my brain ended up outside my sexy little body? I took it from you after I was suddenly ejected from the penal zone. How come I didn't notice? You appeared to be entranced by a primitive form of Earth entertainment. Around here, we call it a popcorn coma, big guy. What are you planning to do with my brain once this whole Toys for Jerks drive is over? The same thing I planned to do before you yanked me into your ASAT's penal zone. Plug your brain into my ship's central computer and use your terrifying psychic powers to conquer the galaxy. Couldn't we just use them to cruise for chicks? The ladies love a good spoon bending. That's curious. My scans indicate you don't even like girls. 
Could you try not to kill Sam? He's my designated driver whenever I'm in the sauce like this. All my minions won't kill him. That's good. They're under strict orders to drag him, beaten and bloodied, to my feet, so that he might witness my ascension to ruler of the galaxy. Just so long as he can still drive. What are you two scamps doing with the Devil's Toy Box? We're tapping the nigh-infinite power of your brain to create a bifurcated vortex of technological and arcane energies to impel the toys of power to return to their point of origin via a five-dimensional matrix of quantum foam and sympathetic magics. Yes, of course! You have no idea what I just said, do you? No, but if it means more psychic toys for me, then vortex away! Uh, could you go over there for a while? The way you're salivating over my anterior cortex is creeping me out, frankly. Very well. These two goofs are about as entertaining as public radio. Oh, I sure hope Sam survived the attack of the minions. I've got a lot of complaining to do. Well, at least I know that Max's brain is still alive and kicking. I'll never get back in there while Skunk Ape and Paperweight are working together. Maybe I can break up those lovebirds from out here. Somehow I doubt they're gonna lure in the jaded thugs of today with laser light shows. Not enough despinings to hold a young person's attention. That's interesting. Holy Oak, Massachusetts. If I remember my field guide for otherworldly incursions correctly, that tentacle's a flagellum from the Dark Dimension. Hey, you. Who, me? Don't get killed with me, wise guy. What are you doing in the museum after dark? I'm Sam. I'm with the Freelance Police. Freelance Police, eh? I heard a lot about you guys. A lot. I'm Sal, museum's security guard. You must be looking into all the freaky shenanigans going on around here tonight, huh? Yeah. Well, feel free to poke around. But right now, you gotta do something about this pile of trash. That's not trash. That's my partner. Partner, trash, potato, potato. If it's not up and moving in the next few minutes, I'm tossing that smelly lump of guts into the incinerator. Incinerator? Yeesh. 
Sal! Keep it down, will ya? This is a museum, not a locker room. Would you mind not throwing my little buddy into the museum's incinerator? Who can do, Sam? If Mr. P finds another corpse strewn about all willy-nilly on the exhibit floor, he's gonna kick my thorax right to the unemployment office. You say your friend's still alive? You better get him moving. Would you mind not throwing my little buddy into the museum's incinerator? Who can do, Sam? If Mr. P finds another corpse strewn about all willy-nilly on the exhibit floor, he's gonna kick my thorax right to the unemployment office. You say your friend's still alive? You better get him moving. But he hasn't got a brain. Well, maybe you should find him a new one. Sheesh. Some detective you are. Nice headphones. Listening to the game? Or maybe some Black Flag? Now these are my official Museum Guard emergency headphones. I gotta wear these so that Mr. Paperweight can tell me where to go in case of a security emergency. Of course, I haven't heard from him in a while. He must be busy up there with that space gorilla guy. Don't look now, but there's a scandalously clad intergalactic despot running roughshod through your museum. You mean General Skunkape? He's an A1 buttwad, all right. But what are you gonna do? Mr. Paperweight's rolled out the red carpet for him and his minions. Don't you think you should alert the authorities? What? Lose my job? How's life with Skunk Ape? Skunk Ape? <laughs> That's a good one. I'll have to remember that. Not so bad. Aside from the big gorilla over there guarding the door, most of these apes just hang out in the planetarium. What's with all the apes running around? Beats me. Mr. Paperweight told me to steer clear of him, so that's what I'm gonna do. Any idea what that paperweight loser is doing in the planetarium? Hey, don't be calling Mr. Paperweight a loser. He's a stand-up guy who took me in and gave me a job. He's not here, you know. Nah, I got no idea what that loser's up to. Heck, I can't even understand half the things he tells me over the headphones. Your boss is gathering demonic toys for a nefarious purpose. Toys, eh? And what do you want me to do about it? Call the army, the navy, the Swiss guard! You want me to turn on my boss? Dream on, buddy. This is a pretty cushy job here. And I ain't messing it up over a bunch of demonic toys. So, why is that name so familiar? Wait a minute. Stinkies used to have a fry cook named Sal. Yep, that'd be me. A six-foot-tall cockroach working at Stinkies? That's shocking! No, wait. What's that thing that's the complete opposite of shocking? So why did Grandpa Stinky fire you? I mean, aside from the whole disease-carrying vermin thing. He, um, uh, didn't approve of a cockroach in the kitchen. That's strange. Grandpa Stinky never had problems with cockroaches before. See ya, Sal. Be careful out there, Sam. This place is cooker tonight. Poyosaurus Henway. Man, where do you think you're going? I'm uh, just looking for the snack foods exhibit. No one leaves here. It's Gonkape's orders. Why? We're supposed to be on the lookout for uh Sam. That's it, Sam. Uh, are you Sam? No, my name is Tyrone. Sam's that guy. Tis we. I've arrived at the world famous museum of mostly natural history. And look, a cute little animatronic monkey. <laughs> Mahila to Skunkape, I've successfully neutralized the one known as Sam. Yes. Describe him. Pink, hairless, difficult to place accent. That's not Sam, you fool. Now don't bother me again until you find Sam. Apparently that uh, wasn't Sam. Oh well, uh, happy hunting. Thank you, Tyrone. Tapestry of Yogg-Sagoth, overfiend of the dank dimensions, 
on loan from the East Village chapter of the Knights of Yogg-Sagoth. He doesn't look so tough. Museum of Mostly Natural History Guided Tour. Ah, an audio guide that attempts to make sense of the nonsensical museum displays. I should tape one of these for our office. It says it's an information desk, but I feel dumber just looking at it. Inexplicable object of unknown provenance. Hey, it's a Moai head! How's it hanging, big guy? Fine, be that way. That fellow reminds me of my great granduncle Eustatius. Canis erectus. This freakish tooth, dating from the late Fumerian era, is thought to represent an evolutionary dead end of heavyset man-dog hybrids. This night was bad enough, but now my distant ancestors are getting insulted by pasty-faced anthropologists. 